All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Dragon Age Origins Part 23, and today we go to Redcliffe Castle. Uh, I just want to be completely transparent and upfront. I have done, like, the first five letters... F letters? First five minutes of this episode already, uh, and then real life interrupted me for quite a while, so it wasn't even worth making... You know what I mean? I had to stop recording, so... <clears throat> We're just starting over to get to that point. There's gonna be some corpses here. And because I've already done it, we're gonna get to that five minute mark extremely fast here. But I just wanted to be completely straight with you. I never wanna lie or pretend things aren't as they are, so. Saw this fight coming. Not that it's a very tough one. Resisted the shatter. He did not do that last time. But that's all right, I guess. All right, and it was in the middle of this convo right here that I had to stop the recording. Is there someone out there? Jowen. Who is it? By all that's holy, you! I can't believe it. Took the words right out of my mouth. Maker's breath! How did you get here? I never thought I'd see you again, of all people. See, you're the mage lady Isolde mentioned. You've spoken with her. Then, you know I poisoned Arliman. For all I know, he's already dead. He's not dead, at least not yet. He's not? <coughs> Thank you, Relief. I can't tell you how much. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Arl was a, a terrible thing. But I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear! Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. The Chantry sent her away, I don't know where. Oh, my poor Lily, she must hate me now, if she even lives. What have I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? Uh, to be fair, he was going to be made tranquil if he didn't try what he tried. I don't blame him, really. Um, <clears throat> What's going on in the castle? I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. <coughs> so... They left me to rot. Hmm. Okay, so this is where we were in the conversation when I had to stop, so let me actually read my options starting from here. Why'd you poison the Arl Eamon? Why didn't they just kill you? Why'd the Arlis hire you to tutor her son? Oh no, I definitely said this, and then, then the other Probably options. shouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd plead for mercy, but I'm not sure I deserve it. Okay, now we're caught up. Um... Why did the Arlesa hire you to tutor his son? Lady Isolde was looking for a mage to tutor Connor secretly. Terran Loghain found out and he sent me. I was to use the opportunity to poison the Arl. I was told that Arl Aemon was a threat to Ferelda. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. Um. I know why, because he doesn't know he's evil. That's good to hear you say. Well, it's a start, maybe. I don't know if anything I do could ever make it right. So the Terran hired you to poison Arl Eamon. Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Um... Perhaps her son is responsible for what happened. 
I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. I think I understand. The Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. Yes, you are. <laughs> so what do you intend to do about it? I'm just sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. We were friends once. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what I did. If it ever meant anything, please help me fix this. I helped you once in the name of friendship. And I betrayed you. And Lily. I'm sorry. So sorry. Please, I'm begging you. Won't you help me try and do one thing right in my life? I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Because he can still he be used. Dangerous, my dear. If not to others, then surely to himself. You betray your own kind with such words, old woman. Humanity is my kind. To play with forces beyond one's control is to invite disaster, no matter one's intentions. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. Jowen has good intentions, but a blood mage? I... I find it difficult to trust his words. Give me a chance, please. That was a nice long conversation our companions just had right there. Give me more of those, please. I was invested in what they were going to say next. That was good. So how will you make things right? I, well, I try to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. That's commendable if it's true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? I'm, I can't let you leave here alive. I'm letting you out of your cell. Don't try anything. Letting me out? And what then? You're on your own. No, I'm not leaving. I made a mistake and I'm going to find some way to fix it. <clears throat> Dude, our character looks good. Our whole party looks good, let's be honest. Liliana disapproves minus three. You were on board for this too. Don't give me that. Oh my god, that music change. That is awesome music change. Oh my god. That's so good. I knew it. Dude. That's good music. Oh, wow. It served its purpose perfectly. That was so good. That was so good. Morgan level 10 finally, huh? Maybe crushing prisons on your horizon here. We'll see. Can't level up right now. Fair enough. All right, we got one more crushing prison. I need y'all to do this damage, because I can't. Drain life. Mind blast, don't let him play. Lightning. Ah, we'd get Liliana for sure. Not that that's the end of the world, I guess, but... And there you have it. That's a wrap. Wow, that music was so good. Like, before the fight started, the, like, leading into the fight music was honestly better than the during the fight music. The during the fight music was fine. It was good. Uh, I'm not saying the during the fight music was bad, but that leading up to the fight... <sighs> that was sick. Alright, everyone's level 10 except for Leliana, who is about 75% of the way there. She's getting there. Alright, willpower and magic. Yeah. I think that's fair. Crusher Prison is going to require 30. That's fine. She's not there yet. Damn. Alright. Next level then. Level 11 she'll have it. 
You don't need this. You can you can get rid of that. Win. Um. You don't need that. I guess you can keep the rest, I suppose. Us. We don't need that. These are defensives. Like, we're not using those until later, so I'll leave them there. Alright. Whoops. Let's go. Gather the party and venture forth. Oh, it's on! That's a lot of shades. Some greater than others. Literally. Okay. Uh, let's force field this one so it's out of the way for a bit. I'll try crushing prison here, but yeah, as long as it's doing damage, I think we're all right. Oh, I can fully hurt these things with, with a, uh, a uh, Traven. Good, good, good. That's a relief. Hey, stop bullying me. <laughs> Yeah, we'll keep going. This isn't going badly at all. Kona Cold right here. I'm a little too far forward still. There we go. Beautiful. Stone Fist, Stone Fist. L win. Let's do what we do. Boom. And then this one lesser shade left. And that'll be a wrap. Well done, everybody. Well done. When they don't resist all of us, that goes much better. Because cold and entropy are like our top damage things, and, and the corpses just handle those two things way too well. Alright. Nice. I like fighting shades a lot more. Armory. Allow me. I could do that for you. Can you, though? You can! Nice! Well done, Liliana! Crossbow Redcliff Shield, okay. We're gonna get pretty full inventories here. Mace and Heavy Maul, okay. Let's get started. Splint Mail and Redcliff Shield, okay. Mace of Viridium, okay. Ma Axe of Grey Iron, alright. This should be easy. Leather armor? Wow. None of that was like you needed to have it, but that was a lot of decent gear for sure. Love that. Oh shit. I mean shoot. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend this is a completely uh, kid-friendly channel, but that just felt unjustified there. It's still the school year, and I'm a teacher, and so during the school year, I try to keep that stuff to a minimum so I don't accidentally let it fly in the middle of class, you understand? Lightning. Drain life. Good. Yeah, we got this. And that's just the room we came from. Yep. Okay. Corpse. Little chest table there. That looks like it might have been a book you could interact with. But no. Alas. Uh. Oh, got it. One of them is just bones now because we looted it. Okay, more of this. Did one of them resist up front here? I think one did. It did! Wow! Okay, this devouring corpse. We don't need to deal with that. Go get him. Kona Cold, Morrigan. Good stuff. Let's keep it flying. Let's keep it good. There it is. One down. God, these guys are really tough because of the way this all plays out. Wait a minute. Overlap the Kona Colds? Oh, hell yeah! With the new Stone Fist cooldowns up? That went beautifully. Oh, you don't need to drain life yet. You're okay. Yeah, that was great. Wow. That went really well. Gotta say. 
What a cringy thing to say, but alright. Plenty of mana, let's burn a Mind Blast. Yes, drain life, please. Whoa. I'm gonna hold this man. Yeah, <laughs> freeze that man up. He's doing too much damage. Yeah, no shatter on him because he's tougher. Makes sense. Just keep him frozen, that way he can't hurt us. Even if he resists the ice damage, he doesn't resist being frozen. Corpse Skull. I think we're going to need that down the line for something. That's right. what my brain is telling me. Frost Rock and Corpse Skull. Health Poultice and Corpse Skull. Okay. Alright. Yeah, these corpses are not our ideal opponents, to be fair. But we're making it happen. Oh boy. Dogs are healthy opponents. Um, let's get him. Oh, Jesus. You're kidding me. Okay, got that one, got that one, got that one. Shatter, shatter. Um. Morgan, I really need you in here. Code of Cold. Ow. These Mabari's hurt. Good. Force field on more. Ah, oh, I should have force fielded me. I made a mistake. Damn it. Okay. Kona Cold. He resisted it. Ah. Oh. Boo. And then a group heal too. Damn it. And I. Force field of Morrigan before it was necessary, so she's like out for way too long. Definitely backfired on me that time. Damn, this Mabari though. It's crushing me. Let's deal with this thing, please. Woof. Wow. That head of that alpha of the pack was insanely tough. More dog stuff we're not gonna be able to use is what it is. Is what it is. So I think with your guys' feedback that I think because we went to camp before anything else, it bugged out the encounter with the dog. Which is a real shame, but I mean it is what it is. They didn't trip that, really? How come? Stone fist, stone fist. Well done everybody. Go ahead, Leliana. 30 experience for Leliana. Nice. Something I can Whoops, help my bad. All those traps should definitely help her uh, catch up to everybody else in level. Assuming she's the only one getting experience from that. Watch for the what? Two more? This is so strange, but okay. If they come in pairs, this is super easy. We've got the Shatter Train ready to go. Check the other doorways first. Okay. Another couple. You know what? Here. Cut a cold. We don't have stone fist ready. Alright, fine. <laughs> we gotta kill him the old fashioned way because it was too fast. Nah, we still don't. This is still be this would still be faster if I just did this. <sighs> For one of them. There you go. Alright. Moving on. Armoire. Lesser health poultice. We take that every time. Valena. We found her. Please, Whoa. Don't hurt me. That's a new animation. Uh, Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. I, I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My, my name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. Is she... All right. What happened to everyone? Valena, the Smith's daughter. You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? There's a tunnel leading out in the dungeon. But, but the monsters... 
I've killed most of them, it's safe. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. You better run real fast, just in case. As you wish. Just saying, that's pretty ballsy that we just let her go for that like that. Win and Liliana approve. Good. Glad we could, you know, get your approval. Let's get started. Corpse Gall and ten silver As almost. Same there, wow. Money. That's the main hall. Can't open that right now. Fair enough. Woof! There's a whole party in here. What are y'all doing? Stone fist there. Stone fist here. Oh, let's get the enraged corpse. That sounds like something I don't want to have to deal with. Any more enraged corpses? No. And we're not going to be able to shatter that one, so... There we go. And now we start the slow whittling down of the rest. Force field. You don't get to play. I'm telling you, mages are so good in Dragon Age Origins. Huge fan. Huge fan. And it isn't going to be me. <laughs> It's like I've heard this all before. Crazy. I ah, just go for the stone fist, yeah. Call him a rat. Okay, now it's just this guy left. Knock him over. Freeze him in place. Oh, didn't knock him over. He resi he's resisting stuff. Hey, stop it, you. No fun when you do that. Stone Fist. Man, those, <laughs> those corpses have a lot of health. Our mages are fantastic at crowd control and being able to keep each other alive and stuff, but... With the corpses, they just have so much health that, for whatever reason, we do not do a good job... Dispatching them very quickly, but we do dispatch them very healthily like we're not struggling to win these fights So we still have that going for us Lesser health poultice again. We are really starting to get a fuller inventory here Deep mushroom. Yeah, we've got like 16 slots the cellar Everybody loves the cellar oh, Liliana that's you nice thanks for the quartz Another deep mushroom. This seems pretty uneventful, actually. Split mail boots with the gray iron. Another love letter, steel bracers, and four silver. All right. Oh, shoot, we made it to the courtyard already? I remember the courtyard. You can't forget the courtyard if you've played this game before. Oh my good God. Uh, remember revenants? <laughs> There's a revenant right there. This will have to be the grand finale of this episode. There's also a bunch of archers up here, I believe. Um, boy, oh boy. Uh, she doesn't have stealth, does she? No? She doesn't. Shoot. So, I'm not going to do the cheese strat. Uh, I'll show you it once, real quick, just to show you what the cheese strat is. It's something my friend TJ showed me one time. Watch this. Everybody stay put. You can do this. And grab them one or two at a time. How ridiculous is that, right? I mean, now obviously we're doing it to one of them, but... I'm just doing it to show you what I was talking about. We're not actually gonna do this that often. We're not doing the whole thing like that. But if... There's... Oh my god, they actually saw a sauce. Okay, uh... But if you wanted to do it easier without pulling the Revenant uh, in your own playthrough, that is an option. But I'm going to go and let everybody go. And I'm going to get this gate lever. Go, go, go. Here comes the Revenant. No, no, no. Hurry before it mass pulls. Oh, my God. Here come the Knights. Ah. We lost one of them in the Battle of Red Cliffs. So there's only three, but we'll take it. I'm getting pulled again. <laughs> Not let me play. Uh, 
There's one right there. Focus that one. Focus that one. Okay, you know what, actually? Revenant's coming for us. Nice miss. We like that. Let me, let me get some of these. Because these guys in the back are going to be really annoying to deal with. Oh, here you go. Okay. Stone Fist. Crushing Prison. Because you can't crush in prison or revenant anyway. Oh, the knights are tanking for us. Thank you. Thank you. That makes this so much easier. And then the last frozen one. Come on. Really? Let me... Damn it. <laughs> Come on. Try to reach this guy. Whatever. He'll have to... I guess he lives. They'll never know, They'll never know it was me. What hit him? What hit him? Oh, I, I, I got that one wrong. Go get that revenant, everybody. Wow, this is so much easier with the knights helping. Go get him! Boom! Let's go, knights! Damn! I had no idea y'all were like that. Whoa! I remember as a kid, this fight was crazy hard because of this revenant, but I didn't have the brains to open the gate lever when I was a kid. That made this fight a whole different beast, to be honest. Wow. We didn't even lose a knight. They just absolutely rocked that. Okay, then. I was, like, working up this fight like it was this giant thing. <laughs> and the knights just went to work. Okay. That's what we need. We are, we're basically four backliners right now. Three mages and an archer. We just need three knights running around tanking stuff for us. And this is a wrap. <laughs> that went really well. Okay. Well, good job, everybody. All right. Good job, everybody. For real, for real. Let's go ahead and head inside next time. Let's hit Liliana level 10 right here. Good that you're catching up. She does need more cunning, but we'll get that later, I guess. She needs 22 cunning at 12. Okay, she's got two levels to get there, and her cunning's what? 18. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Let's go. And then, for now, she'll take the arrow slang. Yes! 30 dexterity, we got it. This is a huge move. I don't remember much about it, other than that, it's a big number machine. Yes, please. Thank you. That's so good. Alright, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in Dragon Age Origins. And I will see all of you for inside Redcliff Castle proper, the main hall. And we're going to see what we can do with, uh... Whatever this situation is, next time. Massively looking forward to, forward to it, by the way. I'm having a blast.